creep mode. Yeah, it's not no creep mode. All right, go ahead. Regen back down, yeah. On the bench, I have the regen set to about half. <laughs> you have that thing bolted down? Yeah. Okay, because I saw it jump. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe that kind of power. It's just, it's deceptive because it's so quiet. I'm probably somewhere in like the 60, 70 mile an hour range. <laughs> All I'm doing is hitting the pedal. <laughs> That's the same one I've got. Wow. Yeah. Where's your voltage source? Where's your power source? Output shaft from a Ford transmission. It's designed to slide into the splines of the transfer case. It'll actually slide all the way up to here. It's that deep. So what we're going to do is take this output shaft and mount it to the output shaft of the Tesla motor. So we're going to machine out this hole similar to this one. We'll broach it so that it has splines that match up with these splines. We'll cut this down, create the splines, slide it into here and then the transfer case will slide onto it. It's up under the truck because we've already got the uh, the voltage that we need and we've already got the whole setup coming from the inverter and all under the truck. Before we mount it, what we're going to do is test it with it right outside the truck so we can see what's going on and hear what's going on when we uh, throw voltage to the motor. And this is where we can detect if there's any grinding or anything going on that shouldn't go on. This would be an easier way to detect it than with it being up under the truck. We can examine it. We can actually pinpoint a lot better where the malfunction is coming from if it happens from here. So what I'm gonna do is connect these uh, three wires here. As you see, I've got a mark one, two, three. 
I've got them marked one, two, three on my cables as well, coming from the inverter, so there won't be any mistake, any mistake. And then we'll connect it and run the test. All right, so we're in low, utilizing the sun gears. We're in high gear on the on the 205 transfer case. So I'm going to send it up to about 4,000 RPMs. Oh, it was actually 6,000 RPM. It's moving. Are you hitting the gas? You hitting the throttle on me? Is it? You heard it? This isn't, this isn't the gear. This isn't what you think it is. No. I'm gonna come around and hit the, the, the throttle and you tell me what you, that spinning noise <clears throat> sounded like a bearing in here is what it sounded like. It didn't, it wasn't that same, it wasn't that grinding noise. There was nothing from there, it was back here. Yeah, it was in this area. Just touch it a little bit. All right, I'm gonna give it a little juice, okay? Okay. Okay. I'm going to try to film it from underneath. Go ahead. Go ahead. So what we're gonna do now is uh, most likely run a bench test. So we're gonna take the shaft out of the motor, put it inside the transfer case, put it over on the lathe, spin it, make sure it don't ha doesn't have any grind. We'll put some resistance on it, on the uh, drive shaft, like I mean on the uh, output shaft like we did before, to see if it pops out of gear or grinds. And after that, we're gonna bench test the motor individually, make sure that doesn't have any malfunctions and then afterwards, we'll test them both together outside of the truck. And then uh, eventually we'll have to put them in the truck to see what happens.
tin has been replaced on the uh, MP205 transfer case. So uh, we're going to test to see if it pops out of gear under load now, as it's been doing prior to putting a new D10 spring in. That's in uh, low gear. That's my high gear. And also it has a nice neutral position. And also now it has a better high position. This is the Magnum drive, and when you spin the front shaft, the uh, it spins this internal spline, which which connects to here. So we're hearing a grinding noise, which sounds like we're hanging in neutral. Yeah. 